displaced people, people who wore the uniform of our country, gave it themselves with dedication and with valor. So thank you very much for your service. You know, I feel like a bar mitzvah boy up here. <laughs> I didn't expect this. Pearl said, you got to come tonight. Are you coming? I said, yes. Well, they, they want to do something. They want to give a couple things to you. Well, it's more than a couple things. And if anything else, I would have needed a bulldozer to haul it out. It would have been too heavy. I, uh, I really don't want to reflect back on 38 years of service. But I was honored to wear the uniform of our country, to be alongside uh, members of the Army, service members, all service members, through thick and thin, six, deplo six deployments, six deployments, and service from the beginning of Ground Zero, twice Iraq, twice Afghanistan, Bosnia, Desert Storm, the list goes on. Although I was away from my family, without my family and their support, knowing that my wife was looking over after the home fires, I could not accomplish that. So, after 38 years, I hang up my uniform, but I have not disappeared like a normal soldier. I won't fade away. I'm there to talk to anybody in the community who wants to talk about military service and would be interested in military service. And I will tell you, it is a great vocation. A lot of good opportunities to take from the military and take them into your civilian life. From A to Z, and I'm not here to sell the Army. Thank you very much, and good night.